Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart at Kelly in Vegas on Twitter, joined by Dave Koken at Dave Koken on Twitter, at Marco in Vegas on Twitter, Marco D'Angelo. Let's talk about a game. So I had a really rough time this week trying to find some outright dogs. You guys know every week I'm looking for dogs that not only are going to cover but have a shot to win. And, and I considered Boston College. 20-point dog here is a lot to win outright. So I was like, okay, maybe not after last week and thinking that LSU somehow was not going to get shut out in Death Valley. I was like, pump the brakes, Kelly. Clemson, t- minus 20 at Boston College, total 58 and a half. Clemson off an absolute blowout oh. over Louisville. Obviously, we've talked about teams. The Louisville games even count at this point? I mean, they've, they've I mean, clearly you know, cashed it in. Like Louisville, you- I mean, they're losing recruits. People want to fire oh, Bobby Petrino. It's, a mess. it's bad for him. And then here's this Boston College team, 7-3 and three against the spread, catching 14 14- points or more at home in their last 10 times. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of back and forth. I do think Boston College is capable enough to keep it here, especially with, and correct me if I'm wrong, the number's slightly inflated about because how well Clemson has well, been playing. Yeah, I mean, you can't, you're not going to get any bargains on Clemson at this point, that's for sure. Uh, but in terms of value, um, Clemson was right on 17, 18 at home against Florida State. They're laying more than that on the road against Boston College. Boston College is clearly better than Florida State, okay? Um, And the thing with BC is that if you take out the games that Dylan missed, because Dylan's he's a really dynamic offensive performer, and their offense bogged down in the games he didn't play. But he's back. He's completely healthy. I think the Eagles have a chance to give him a game. Can they beat him? No, I, I don't think so. But all the pressure's on Clemson. And Boston College is good enough to be that dog against the team with a lot of pressure on it that can hang around and make it a football game. I think this is more like a two-touchdown game. So to me, there's reason to at least lean the Boston College way. Yeah, Kelly, you look at this, and this is the time of season where you talk about the pressure. You've got these kids. Let's not forget. I mean, Clemson's been there and done that how many times the last several years, but these are still 20-year-old kids that are playing. The pressure starts to mount when you get close to the end of the season and see the prize is right there. And we've seen Clemson (laughs) fold under that pressure in years in the past. You start playing, you know, because all they have to do, there's, they don't have to worry about the rankings. All they have to do is win, win out, yeah. when they're going to be there. And, then, and they don't, and have they don't to have get... to worry about the final score either. That's right. right. They, don't, the they don't need style points at this exactly. point. Exactly. And, but you look at this team, and as you said, you're paying a premium. This thing opened up at 17. It wasn't there long. <laughs> it got bad up to 20 right away because people were looking at this offense. It's unstoppable right now. And when you find out the play that I'm going to be using, you're going to think I'm nuts. But this is a team that's that anyway. Well, <laughs> <laughs> 63, 41, 59, and 77 points last week. How do you stop this team? And if Clemson's not a juggernaut offensively, turn around and you look at them defensively, and this team is number two in allowing just 4.0 yards per play. You can't stop them offensively. They're stopping you defensively. It could be a long night, but this is the setting for Boston College to excel. I can see this being a tighter game. I don't want to bet against Clemson. So where I'm going to go with, with that defense, and if Boston College has any shot in this game, they have to shorten the game. Oh, yeah. They have to be able to try to find a way to run the football. I'm going under 58 and a half. And I know Clemson can score that by themselves, but Vegas is telling you something, putting up a, 50, a 58 in a game with Clemson that, you know, you're looking at it. So, Lean to Boston College if I had to play the game, but I think the better play is the under 58 and a half. Good stuff from both guys. Tuesday is always $2 Tuesdays, and you can get the hottest handicapper at Wager Talk's best bet for just $2.